Sup. 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 Hey, it's me, Steven, from Southern Arboreals. I like to look at the side camera, even though I'm supposed to look at the lens to talk to everybody. Well, hey, guess what? Um, no fancy video. I'm just kind of doing a vlog thing in the reptile room, spinning in my chair. Um, I got to show you a bunch of stuff. Um, I finally got that monitor enclosure done for the green tree monitor. I'm expecting some eggs from an Aru pairing of green tree pythons that I put together. Got some tubs set up just in case. Snakes are doing good. Green tree monitors doing good. And as you can see, there's a lot of geckos. Mainly my reptile collection consists of geckos. But I got some pretty sweet snakes and a sweet monitor. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just get into that. Show you around. Give you a little update on the uh, Southern Arboreals little reptile room thing, operation, whatever you want to call it. I saw this in a previous video, but these were those Cambro conversion kits. They're freaking sweet. The snakes are doing awesome. Um, they've pooped since I've gotten them. Um, yeah, these were actually imports, Jayapura imports. So they're pretty freaking cool. And hopefully we'll be able to breed these guys in the future. That's the plan. That's why I got them. Got to wait a couple years. Um, then they should be ready to breed. But yeah, that's the setup. Um... Just some um, crusted down there. If you see some dirty tubs, I did clean them uh, over the past weekend. Starting to switch over to um, some PVC cages for some of the geckos from DW Geckos. If you haven't, freaking check them out because they have really good prices on PVC caging. Um, they got some arboreal stuff. Uh, I think the sizes are unique for they're caging so that's why I decided to go with them and because they're cheaper so if you want to get some of these this is like a standard one that they got I forget the measurements but um I like that they're tall skinny and they go back far they're actually kind of pretty deep so I think those are pretty good for a single crested gecko breeder and those are about 85 bucks each if you want to get these you can probably see all the dirty acrylic doors um those are 35 bucks each you can't beat that 35 freaking dollars you just can't beat 35 freaking dollars man so that's what's going on um oh yeah the southern arboreals website is up www.southernarboreals.com we have some geckos for sale um hopefully i'll be adding some other species um, but I got to sell the geckos so I can fund other projects like maybe a female green tree monitor so I can start braiding those. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he's male. So we can do that. Maybe get some green tree monitors up in the near future. Um, hopefully if I get some baby green tree pythons, I'm going to freaking add those to the Southern Arboreals website. And I will be offering those. Um, but that's just in the future. Pretty sure. Um, the girl had a prelay shed, so she's starting to coil up, starting to beehive in her lay box. She came out, she shed, and was like hanging out underneath her heat panel for like a few, like three or four days, and then she was like, I'm going back in the lay box. And I was like, yes, yes. Maybe that's a good sign. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. So yeah, uh, most of, mostly all these geckos are for sale um, on these two racks. So if you want to check it out, um, I got a few listed right now, probably like 14 of them. Um, there's still a lot of good geckos in there that I am growing up. They're kind of growing slow. So once those grow up, they'll be up for sale too. They might be freaking sub-adults or adults by the time you're ready to get some. All right, um, let me show you the green tree monitor enclosure that I built. It's pretty freaking sweet. All right, so um, I did post this freaking enclosure on tree monitors um, Facebook group. Everybody was like, that's too small. He's going to die or something. Um, actually, really, this is a pretty big enclosure. 
Um, I think, you know, width-wise, if it was one more foot wide, um, people probably wouldn't give me shit. But, I mean, look at all that. Just a freaking cork forest. Giant water bowl. Got freaking cocoa husk to climb up the sides. Got freaking full lighting. Freaking this thing I keep on 24-7. Um, so this area up here stays pretty warm um all down there is a cool area so i think there's a pretty good thermal gradient in it for him um he likes to freaking hide under here let me show him to you oh where is he oh there he is say hello green tree monitor before you run away forever oh there he goes so anyways he likes to run up into that log and sometimes he's at the tap got his little food dish back there got that at the dollar store put dubias and sometimes i'll throw a couple pinkies in there um like once a month or every two weeks i'll throw like a pinky in there um that's pretty much it that's the freaking monitor enclosure freaking love it um i actually worked pretty hard on it and i was trying to keep the monitor in mind gotta put this water bowl back in uh while i was building it um so yeah worked hard on it yeah you worked hard on it bro but the monitor's gonna die it's not true he's not gonna die he's gonna thrive he's gonna be awesome he's gonna have a good time so yeah that's that that's the tree monitor enclosure um sprite she's still doing good she's um a biak. Ooh, hold on, can't really see her. Let's see if we can uh, change the freaking. I can't. It won't let me change the ISO. But anyways, that's the um, biak green tree python. Pythons. Um, little freaking rack down here. Um, got these uh, little perches from. Specialty enclosure designs. Um, these are what the small Neos will uh, go into. They'll perch on these, utilize the perches, and you get a set of water bowl in there. It's pretty freaking awesome. Dirty glass, but um, that's the other Biok mail that I got. Freaking Aru mail back there. Dirty glass. Got a uh, Manaquari mail back there. You've probably seen him before. He's there. Jayapuras. Um, got a treadmill. I don't even, I don't even use this treadmill. My wife uses it. But it just sits down here, like, in the way of my reptiles. But I'm not gonna tell her that. It's my little workstation. It's where I do all my gecko work and clean cages and stuff, you know? So, little food dishes there, so I can work them out a little space. Um, that's the incubator. It's got shiznit all over it. So we got some freaking, uh incubator action going on. I built that albinochondro.com uh, thing. Got to return this paludarium, the Zoomed paludarium to my dad on Friday. That'll be the other part. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to go over to my dad's on Friday and it's going to be awesome. He's got a bunch of new reptiles, a bunch of new vivarium set up. He's really into vivariums. He loves it. It's like a freaking zoo garden thing down there it's freaking awesome it's a lot of vivariums he's got a lot of frogs and mostly geckos and he's bred some day geckos which is awesome so we'll check out his baby day geckos that he's got and yeah that's my little when this isn't in the way it's where i take pictures of the geckos and light a candle and freaking change backgrounds if i want so it's my little chair some chameleon cages that I don't use because I don't have chameleons anymore. Um, those Jackson's chameleons went somewhere else. Yeah, so let me show you this female. Let's get into this. So this female, she shed, went back in the layback. And she's doing this, looking a little uncomfortable, doing her little thing down there. Probably can't see it because the lighting uh, is real bad. But, oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold the freak on. Got a freaking flashlight. Got a flashlight for you. Got a flashlight. Right here. Freaking awesome flashlight. 
this will solve our little problem here. So yeah, she was, um, you know, she got a couple coils up, um, but I'm pretty freaking sure this mama's is getting ready to lay those eggs. She's looking pretty plump. Um, you know, I didn't witness an ovulation, um, but I know something's going to happen, and I'm pretty freaking sure it's going to happen soon. So, wish me luck. Fingers crossed is people comment on the Green Tree Python posts Facebook. Um, hopefully we'll be getting a nice clutch. I'm hoping that they're not slugs. I don't think they will be. Um, I've been trying to do everything right. Turn off these lights. I just turned them on for you guys because you're freaking cool. And man, and I wanted to thank everybody. I'm at like 560 subscribers and that's freaking sweet. I started, um, you know, the Southern Arboreals freaking page like a year ago, a little over a year ago, and just started making some videos, and I get a lot of good feedback. So I want to thank all you guys for the continued support, almost at 600 subs, which is freaking awesome. I want to try to do more vloggy type reptile stuff, so... I know I haven't been uploading, it's been like a month, but I made that really cool specialty enclosures video, which you should still go check them out. Basically, they got these really cool things called Python portals, and it's like a frame, you know, you get the glass cut, you put it in there, so they look like those glass sliding doors, or like this, like this one, right here, glass sliding doors, and it's super cost effective, you don't have to buy PVC cages, you could just um, go get a big tote freaking slap the python portal on the side and freaking get the glass cut and put it in there it's gonna be freaking sweet it's been raining all day it's freaking raining outside let me show you this oh shoot talk about that's too bright those are my two huskos back there they're like oh yeah it's raining today so we're in our kennels and they're just getting muddy so i just let them out every so often um because I gotta go to work today. I gotta change this freaking lighting, dude. So, so what's gonna happen? That's what's gonna go on. So basically, um, yeah, that's what's going on with Southern Arboreals. We're still breeding Cresteds. Uh, we got some Lily Whites coming in from um, Austral Gecko. I probably have a few Lily Whites coming in. Um, we did a breeder loan. So I got myself some Lily Whites. And those will be coming in next year sometime. But next year will be here before you know it. So I got other projects keeping me busy. Hopefully we got these green tree python eggs that will be popping out. Green tree monitor enclosure. Going to my dad's. Um, yeah. So that's it. Like and subscribe. Freaking watch the videos. Um, yeah, just freaking do things man be cool stay in school just rock and roll till you can't rock and roll no more and thanks for watching you guys are freaking awesome and uh hopefully i'll make another cool video <laughs> rock and roll baby see you later